Okay, uh, question seven. An electron starts from rest that is a 32 and a half centimeters from a fixed point charge with when that is a charge from a so it's a negative charge. Um, so it's ne electron's negative charge. Uh, so it's going to be pushed away from this charge. How fast will the electron be moving when it is very far away? Okay. So number seven. Okay, so to understand this, let's uh, help us understand this. Let's draw, make a little sketch again of what's going on. So I've got my charge Q there. Let's say uh, and that is 0 0.125 microcoulombs, a certain distance, uh, at, let's say point A, and this is 32.5 centimeters away from it. There is a little charge Q, which is the electron, and it gets pushed away because it also has a negative charge, and it'll just keep going. It'll just keep going all the way to, let's say, point B. Um, and that, so that is at infinity. Okay, so now I want to know how fast it will be going. So what do I need to know to know how fast it's going? Um, well, I can look up the mass of an electron. Um, if I know the mass, I know the kinetic energy it has here, uh, then uh, I can work out its velocity, right? Now, I don't need to know directly what its kinetic energy is here. Uh, it's enough to know by how much the kinetic energy changes from year to year. Because I know it's zero here, so by however much the kinetic energy changes, that will be how much kinetic energy it has infinitely far away. Okay, so I'm just after the change in kinetic energy because that will be equal to the kinetic energy far away. Okay, so how can I get the change kinetic energy? So I know the change kinetic energy like I've seen with the previous problems, this will be equal to the net work done, which will just be equal to the work done by the electric field on the f charge going from uh, from A to B. And uh, remember that formulas, those form formulas, let's say, quickly remember them. Change in electric potential energy is QVBA over, which is equal to minus the work done by, no. Good, like that. Okay, so, the change in kinetic energy will be um, equal to work done, uh, so we took that term, and that is equal to that term. And do I have any of these things? Well, I've got Q, but actually, what is what is VBA? What is VBA? Let's quickly look. What is VBA? That is the potential at B minus potential at zero. But now, look here. This is a point charge case, and for point charges, we take the potential there infinitely far away to be zero. So in this case, in this case, not in general, in this case, this will simply be zero. Uh, zero minus VA equal minus VA. Because infinitely far away for point charges, we take the potential to be zero. And then what's this VA? That's the potential there at A due to that point charge Q. But we've got a formula for that. You remember we used it for the previous two questions. So I can use that if I know the charge and the distance from the charge. So then I can use that formula to get the potential at A, which will then be equal to minus VBA. So then I've got that, and I've got that, of course, and then I can use that to get this term, the work done, and then that will be the change kinetic energy. Well, so actually, no, this all works looks very good. So if I've got the, the change kinetic energy, then I've got the actual kinetic energy, um, and then I can use that to calculate the velocity. Right. So... Let's start. I'm after the change in kinetic energy, so let's see how shall I write this. So let's say the kinetic energy at B will be equal to the change in kinetic energy because it starts off from rest, and this will be equal to um, the net work done, which will be work equal to the work done by the electric field on it in this case, and this is equal to minus Q V B A. So I'm not just repeating everything, minus Q V B minus V A. And this will just be equal to plus Q V um, V A, right? Yes, because based on what I've did there, the minuses cancel. Good. And what is this? So this is Q, and this will just be uh, K Q over this distance R R. Okay. So K little Q Q over R. Okay. Interesting. Um, okay, so that is the kinetic energy, so this will be equal to uh, half mv squared.
squared. Let's say v is the velocity that I'm after. So v, phew, so that's going to be a big thing. So this is going to be 2k q, low q, big q over, um, I'm going to divide by m. So I'm going to have m r underneath here. And it's going to be the square root of this entire thing. Okay, that's very nice. I found one exp giant expression, well, relatively giant expression, to find the velocity. Okay, so now let's substitute everything. Now we've got to keep our heads. So two times, uh, what kind of accuracy do I have here? Three significant figures for values given, so I'm going to use the more accurate value for k that I know. Newton meter squared per coulomb squared. Okay, times... The two, uh, so that's just a charge of an electron. Let's use this one 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs uh, times uh, big Q is, is uh, minus 0 0.125 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs. Sure. And half of that over the mass of an electron. This you can go and look up. Uh, this is minus, front of the textbook should have it. It's this much uh, times r, which is cent. Let's convert to meters. Zero point three two five meter. Okay, now we have to calculate this entire thing without making mistakes. So I'm so everything right. The powers right. Yeah, they look right. Okay, so I'm going to ignore the, the power ten, ten to the power somethings, to make it simpler. So I'm going to say two times eight point nine eight eight. Minus is cancelled, multiply 1.602 times 0.125 and divided by 9.11 times 0.325. Okay, calculate that and then work out times 10 to the power. What will this be? Okay, 9 minus 19 minus 6 plus 31 like that and the I have to work out the square root of that, assuming you make no mistake, it's equal to this. And I'll also provide you three significant figures. So there's 3.49 times 10 to the uh, 2467 meters per second. And there you have it.